with one of the interwebs. So Charlotte Tilbury recently debuted a number of products. Um, well, maybe not a number. She debuted a few products. Uh, one of them was a new foundation stick that I picked up, of course, uh, because, you know, it's Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm, I'm going to get it. And then she debuted some new colors of the um, the lip and cheek thingies that had come out a couple of months ago. Um, I forgot what they're called, but these ones have a new name. It's called the Beautiful Skin Island Glow Lip and Cheek. And this is what the compact looks like. I picked up two shades. So the foundation comes in, I believe, I really don't know. I should have been better prepared. But as usual, I'm not. Um, yeah, so the foundation comes in 20 shades, which is a, a little bit unusual for Charlotte Tilbury because usually their foundations come with more shades in a range, but I don't know why this one only came in 20 shades. Um, but I used the, um, the shade matcher on the website um, using one of the Charlotte Tilbury foundations that I own, one of the shades that I actually own, um, and it was re recommending shade number tan nine to me. I went ahead and vetoed that recommendation, and I picked up twelve instead. Um, I picked up tan twelve. the sh The foundation costs uh, forty six dollars, and I am going to go ahead and read some blurbs. Um, so. It is supposed to be a buildable sheer to light coverage, uh, supernatural soft glow, no foundation finish, um, whatever. Skin immediately looks 32 times smoother. 99% agree that it's weightless all day wear. It has collagenier, I don't know what that is, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Um, it says a ring light effect. Okay, so it says what it is, supernatural, sheer to light, buildable coverage, glide on the hyaluronic acid and vitamin C infused formula to unlock the look of an instantly smooth, snatched, blurred, soft focused skin glow. Available in 20 natural looking shades. Stretchable unreal shades. Uh, yeah, yeah, I... uh, okay. Uh, find your perfect Unreal match in 60 seconds using my shade matcher tool. Yeah, no, we didn't do that. So 12 is supposed to be a tan deep shade with warm undertones. Um, it goes on to tell you what it means that you have a warm undertone. Okay. This is so much stuff. Yeah, I'm not reading anything else. That's it. Anywho, so, so anyway, the, this is the package for the foundation. Very, very Charlotte Tilbury. Um, rose gold. Um, this is what the shade looks like. That's 10, 12. And here is a swatch. Now, can you imagine? Look at this swatch here. Can you imagine if I had gone with 9? Like, they on something. Blended it out. Boom. Okay, okay so what we're going to do today is we're going to try the foundation. We're also going to try one of the... I'm going to do a two-day wear test. We're also going to try one of the um, Island Glow Beautiful Skin Island Glow Lip and Cheek Tint. Um, I got two shades, like I said. The two shades that I got are Sun Blushed Glow, which is a bright coral. Looks like so. Let's see if I can give you a swatch. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's what Sunblush Glow looks like. And then I got it in Paradise Paradise Pink Glow. And that one looks like so. It's a very, very bright coral pink. I feel like these two might wind up looking like the same shade on me. Oh, no. One's much cooler. So... That's what Paradise Pink Glow looks like. And then this is Sun Blushed. Um, what? Sun Blushed Glow. 
There's also another shade that can be used as a bronzer. I did wind up ordering that one, so when I, um, but I ordered it from Saks because Saks was having a sale, and I bought the stuff from Charlotte Tilbury before I realized that Saks was having a sale, and Charlotte Tilbury was part of the sale, so I got it from Saks for like thirty-four dollars. Um, so I did order that and it looks like it can be used as a bronzer. So hopefully by the time I get ready to do the second part of the video, the second day wear test, it will be here and I can test it out as a bronzer. But for now, for today, what we're going to do is we're going to try out the, uh, foundation and then we are going to try one of those, um, lip and cheek tints. So if you want to see that, stick around because it's coming right up. Okay, so... We are just going to go in with the foundation on one side of my face, see what it looks like. I'm already wearing concealer, I already have on my primer, which is the Dolce & Gabbana primer. That's the primer I've been using um, since I got it. And see, I am so happy that I vetoed that shade because look at this shade match right here. So it says sheer buildable coverage, but, um... So here is one side of my face with the foundation and the other side without. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not really seeing a difference. It really is very sheer coverage. Um, even looking at it up close, there's like not a whole lot of difference. I just look very glowy. Um, so... I don't think we're going to get very much coverage out of this foundation so I'm going to do the other side of my face off camera and I'll be right back all right guys I am back in very shiny so this foundation is ooh. okay so a couple of things um, it emphasizes the hell out of texture if you have acne marks or um, larger pores um, it's going to emphasize them because it is very glowy very dewy um, I'm pretty certain though that I can tamp it down tamp down this glow this dew with my one of my Chanel powders which is what I'm planning on doing also um, warm mm, it's this particular shade is a warm neutral I can already see it swinging a little bit neutral on me which I am not happy about once again I will fix it with the Chanel powder but that's not the point um, if something is supposed to be warm just like freaking let it be warm uh, so that's why when I read flexible shades I got like a little bit anxious about it because when it says flexible, I know it's going to be like a warm neutral. And I really wish that I had read that part of it before um, I actually purchased this because then I wouldn't have gotten it. Um, let's see how it looks up close. Um, yep, definitely a warm neutral. Uh, it's going a little bit gray on me. All right, so that's it for the foundation. I don't think I like it. I'm pro I'll probably still do another day's wear test on it anyway, um, or not. I don't know. Anywho, so let's go ahead and try one of these lip and cheek um, tints. The one that I'm going to try today is the bright pink one, Paradise Pink Glow. Um, give you a reminder of what it looks like. Looks like this. It's $40. Once again, comes in a compact. The compact has a nice little mirror in there that you can use. 
um, to apply the product. It's a good size mirror too. Um, and me, I'm nearsighted, so no, I'm farsighted, so I can't see anything up close. Um, so usually these little mirrors don't work very well for me, but because they're never really big enough, but this one seems to be working um, just fine. So it's taking up some of the product on my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, this is, was not expecting that level of pigment. That is as much as I am willing to put on my face. It blends really well. It blends out really well though. It's a little bit warm for me. Um, it looks really cool in the pan, but it's a little bit warm. I do like it though, I do like it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just try it on the lips because it's supposed to be a lip and cheek product. So let's see what it looks like on the lips. So it doesn't make too great a difference on my pigmented lips, but um, on someone who has less pigment in their lips, this is uh, probably going to be super bright. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on here. Don't I look very shiny? I feel like I look very, very shiny. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. Because I feel like all my texture is emphasized because I look very shiny. Alright, so because I feel very shiny, I'm going to go in with the um, Chanel Le Beige powder which is basically kind of my correcting powder for everything um so let's just go in with that and see if we can tamp down a bit of the shiny and have this look a little bit more normal Okay, as for the shiny, this is very, 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 very much better than as shiny as I was looking. Now I kind of like it. Now I kind of like it. But um, I don't know if I like it because the Chanel powder, no, it's because the Chanel powder fixed it. That's why it looks better to me um, right now. Uh, so about this foundation, I don't like it. I don't like this foundation. It's too shiny for me. It's just, it's a uh, too, too shiny for me. There isn't a lot of coverage. There is very minimal coverage, actually. Um, but I do like the lip and cheek tint. I do like the lip and cheek tint. Um, this particular shade is a little bit warm for me. The other shade seemed a little bit cooler. So hopefully when I try that one, um, I will like it better because it'd be a little bit more cool tone but this one is um kind of warm it's very well it's, it's more like, it's more like neutral but still a little bit too warm for me it's a little, slight amount too warm for me um but yeah so this is what my face looks like and i am going to do a wear test on this i think i'm only going to do one day um uh i can't really feel it the foundation on my skin the only thing well there's a lot of things that I don't like about this foundation. I can't feel it on my skin, so that's a good thing. It has no scent, also a very good thing. Um, what else? What else? Um, so that's the good. That's the good. The bad is it's shiny as hell. So if you like that overly dewy look and you have good skin, good skin, because it will emphasize all the texture, your pores, any pimples, whatever 
you have on your face. Um, it will actually emphasize it. Now, I managed to tone that down with the Chanel powder. The Chanel powder is magic, man. That LeBeige oversized uh, finishing powder, the Healthy Glow Sun Kiss powder, um, that, that powder is a miracle worker. Trust me, it fixes everything. Um, so it has fixed a little bit of the um, emphasis of my texture from this foundation. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, which is because I have to go out. I have to go out. Um, it is now 1221 in the afternoon. It is Sunday, the day that we usually have family dinner. I don't think we're having it today because some people are traveling. Um, so I will be going out, but I should be back early enough um, to see how this foundation actually holds up. But I can already tell you that I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, let me stop. All right, guys. 1221 in the afternoon. This is what my face looks like. I will be back here later on to let you see what the results of my wear tests are. And I will see you then. Bye. All right, friends. I am back and it is now 622 in the evening. And this is what my face looks like. Look, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm not. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. This foundation is a dub. Yo, the way this foundation, when I went into the bathroom earlier after I thought that I had fixed the shininess of this foundation and I looked in the mirror and I still look like the Tin Man. Mm, that's not it. Not to mention it slips and slides everywhere. I scratched my face, it came on, came off underneath my fingernails. Every single time, <clears throat> every single time I touch my face, it came off of my fingers. Every single time. And I'm a face toucher, so that's a bad thing. So this foundation, nope, is a dub. Not for me. I'm not even going to do a second day wear test on it. I don't know. I don't know who came up with this formula. I don't know whose idea it was to make this thing so shiny. But whoever you are... I want a word for real on the plus side the blush has held up now because the foundation was playing slip and slide on my face it made the blush kind of slip and slide too so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do another video on the blush alone with a foundation that I know it does not play slip and slide with with my regular foundation the one that I've been wearing which is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk one I'm gonna do another video with that using the the blushes well one of them anyway because since you've seen this one the color on this one already you don't really need to see it again um but i'm gonna do a video because i feel like this blush needs its own video because this foundation just was playing slip and slide on my face and it made the blush play slip and slide too literally every time i touched my face it came off of my fingers every single time and i couldn't tell if it was the blush or the foundation that was causing it to move when I touch my face so it deserves its own video so it's gonna get that but this foundation is a dub it is a big 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 huge no for me no absolutely no positively no um but um that's about it that's all I have to say about this foundation because mm, mm -mm. But I want to thank you guys for joining me for my review on the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's it called again? It's called the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. Literally. And it has no coverage also. There's like no coverage. There's like zero coverage. It l Who came up with this? I... There is no coverage. It plays slip and slide. You look metallic in it. Even finishing powder doesn't stop the metallic uh, look. It breaks through. Um, and it's a warm neutral. Who came up with this? Whose idea was this? All right, I'm I'm thoroughly annoyed by this foundation. I kind of just want to get it off my face. The only good thing is that you can't feel it, but why would you feel it? Because there's nothing to feel. There's no coverage. So, 
what's there to feel. Um, I'm just really annoyed by this foundation. I kind of want to get it off my face. Uh, so I am going to bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for joining me for my review on the Unreal Skin uh, Sheer Glow Tint from Charlotte Tilbury. is a no for me. Um, which is unfortunate because... Mm, do I tend to like Charlotte Tilbury foundations? For the most part, yes. So... Um, it's unfortunate that, that I didn't like this one um, but thank you guys for joining me um, as usual it's been real it's been fun and I'll see you guys in the next one peace